we present a new ecosystem model for simulating plant ecosystems. Our main motivation is to improve the visual variety of the current state of art by adding death and decay of trees arising naturally due to aging or by disturbance events as fires, windstorms, and disease. Our model uses a three-step process. First, we perform several growth and decay simulations on each species of our scene using known logistic growth curves and controlling for variation by adding a range of different environments and disturbance events. This provides not only the geometry, but also information on species allometries. The second step involves the simulation of a full ecosystem using the allometry data, terrain conditions and disturbance scenarios over time that allow us to obtain the distribution and state of all trees, snags or logs in a scene at any given time. Finally, we combine the geometries and the plant data using a matching process to instantiate the final 3D scene. We present our growth simulation of a single tree spanning the seasons and years. We apply a specific event, fire or windstorm, when the tree is 16 years old. Then we kill the tree at the 20-year mark to demonstrate the decay process. To generate our database, we perform a simulation with different environments and events. We obtain a total of 784 models defined by four ages for seven species and 14 decay and disturbance effects within two environments. Our experimental ecosystem simulation covers a 4 km squared terrain and produces over 2.3 millions of trees in 600 years. We illustrate how over the years different events improve the realism by introducing variety to the scene. We indicate the impact of different events on specific species in the left image, with the tree state shown in the right curves. For example, events can dramatically change the proportion of species in the scene. The windstorm event strongly impacts the vigor of those trees with large wind exposure and in open areas, which results in a consequent loss of branches. We illustrate here a simulation of fire propagation, which burned a large part of the scene. We also show 3D images immediately after the fire event. The disease progression shows a typical surge in initial infection and death, with subsequent waves that gradually damp down to an endemic. A flyover of the scene at year 500 of our simulation before the drought and fire event. Another close-up example, highlighting model variety. This scene shows the state of the ecosystem immediately after a drought period and a fire event. We also apply our simulation to another scene with a smaller terrain, producing on the order of a million trees. An understory scene showing the result of our model instantiation of decay, snags and logs, with ground detail including grass, leaves and small branches. Another under canopy example of our deadwood simulation.
we performed a study to determine the perceptual impact of tree variety from growth, death, decay, and disturbance. We used a two-alternative forced-choice study to compare side-by-side -side videos and obtain statistics with a Bayesian analysis. We observed that having dead trees and logs is more important for the perceptual realism than a large variety of models. Thank you for watching.